import Onyx PL licenses. So Onyx PL is a standardized format for publishing licenses for electronic materials and Alma can now import these files and it's a new way to add licenses in Alma. Uh, previously you could create a license manually and now you can import new licenses using a file. So a very useful feature. Let's take a look at how we import such a file and then we'll have another look at the mapping that Alma does between the fields in the Onyx PL file and the format that Alma uses, which is based on the DLF standard. Okay, so, Alma menu, licenses under acquisitions, and add license. Now we have two options here, manually and from Onyx PL file, so this is the new option, and we're going to leave it uh, selected from Onyx PL file. Next. Now we give the license the name, the name that this license will have in Alma. My Onyx PL license. My Onyx name and code and we select the file. I have one prepared and we're going to take a look at it after the upload. And this is my XML file, my Onyx PL license. And upload. And license, my Onyx PL, was successfully created. Um, now, this here is the data of the license. The license was already created and I'm taken straight into the page of the license details. And when I'm done, I will save it over here. So the name and the code we've just entered in Alma, but the rest of the information, for example, start date and end date, comes from the file. So let's, let's take a look for a second at our file. Okay, this is the file. It's a very elaborate file with many, many fields. And each field here has its own mapping in Alma. So for example, the start date and end date, Let's take a look. So for 2015, license end date, 2015-01-09. This is in my input file, right? License start date, January 1st, 2014. And we can see in Alma that these are the start date and end date that were indeed imported. Um, more interestingly, if we look at the license terms, Every term that Alma identifies as having a mapping between Onyx and uh, Alma's standard gets mapped. Some of these fields are text fields, for example, applicable copyright law. So this is a text field that's found in the file. The licensee and authorized users, we can take a look here. Okay, so that's this text field that was in the file. And uh, some of these fields that are either yes or no, uh, it's simply whether or not they are in the file. If the field exists in the file, such as the fair use clause, then it will be a yes. And some fields, such as this one, scholarly sharing, uh, is an enum field, and it receives uh, one of predefined values. So, in this case, it's permitted, but it could have been any of these. So, let's see where this was in the input file. Now, the name of the field here in Alma is scholarly sharing. But, in the Onyx PL file, it might have a slightly different name. So, I actually have here a table that can be found in the October 2014 release notes. And this table has uh, the mapping between uh, the name of the field in Alma and the name of the field in the Onyx file. So we were looking at an Alma field called scholarly sharing, if I'm not mistaken. Scholarly sharing in Alma will be called supply copy in the Onyx file. Let's take a look. And we'll look for the word supply. 
Okay, supply copy is permitted. So the fields have different names, um, and you can look these up in the, in the release notes and see which field is mapped into which. Now, none of this data uh, will completely disappear. Even if Alma doesn't identify a certain field in the ONXPL file, it stores the original file over here as an attachment to the license. So if you go into attachments, you can see the input file that we used, and you can add uh, another file. You can edit this one, and you can always go back and reference the original. Um, perhaps one thing that has to do with configuration, these fields, um, as they appear on the license terms page, uh, these are configurable. So you could actually add more or detract some of these. Um, and if one of these fields is not defined, then it will not be imported. So you basically want to have this page well defined, and most institutions that's probably the case. So let's see where we configure this. So under Alma, Acquisitions Configuration, Configuration Menu, Licenses, Terms Type. And here we can see uh, the different terms. Uh, for example, Scholarly Sharing was one that we looked at before. It's a typical Alma mapping table. Um, you can add new rows here with Quick Add. There's different sections, and each section, uh, for example, Terms of Use, has the different license terms. And so from this page you can configure the license details. So we've seen how you upload an ONIX.pl file into Alma. It's a new way to automatically create a publishing license for electronic materials. And we saw how Alma maps uh, the different fields to their corresponding fields as they're defined in Alma. And that is it for uploading ONIX PL licenses into Alma.